Hello everybody, Happy New Year. Thank you for joining me for this week's quiz, which of course, as it's New Year's Day, will be on the theme of the New Year. My name is Emma and I am an Engagement Officer at the Jewish Museum London. Now in this weekly quiz there are four rounds and each round has five questions. I will give you the answers to each round before moving on to the next one. Do leave me a comment, let me know how you are finding this week's quiz, but I will just ask that you don't leave any of the answers in the comment section so everybody can play along at home. Now this January our theme across the museum will be hope and the new year is a particularly hopeful time as we hope for good things to happen in the year ahead. So our, our rounds will all be about the new year fresh starts and our first round today is Torah Firsts where I will ask you five questions about the first things or first times things occurred during the Torah. Good luck. So question one, on what day in the creation story did God create the first plants? On what day in the creation story did God create the first plants? Question two, according to Talmudic tradition, who was the first woman created, created before Eve? According to Talmudic tradition, who was the first woman created, created before Eve? Question three, what was the first food to be eaten in the Torah? What was the first food to be eaten in the Torah? Question four, who was the first child to be born in the Torah? Who was the first child to be born in the Torah? And question five, what is the first offering to be made to God in the Torah? What is the first offering to be made to God in the Torah? Okay, that was the last question of the first round. Let's move on to the answers. So question one was on what day in the creation story did God create the first plants? That was the third day, just before the creation of the sun, moon and stars. Question two was according to Talmudic tradition, who was the first woman created, created before Eve? That was Lilith, that was Adam's first wife. Question three, what was the first food to be eaten in the Torah? It is the fruit from the tree of knowledge. Sometimes it's thought to be an apple, some traditions say pomegranate, some an etrog, is a fruit. Question four, who is the first child to be born in the Torah? That is Cain, child of Adam and Eve. And what is the first offering to be made to God in the Torah? Fruits of the soil that is made by Cain. However, it's not um, clear, it's a little bit debated if this is brought before Abel brings his offering of fat portions from the firstborn of his flock or if they're presented at the same time. So give yourself a point if you gave both of those answers as well. So now we move on to round two. Our second round this week is resolutions. New Year is a time when many of us will be making our resolutions for the year ahead. I am going to ask you five questions about the practice of making New Year resolutions. Question one, what is the most common New Year's resolution? What is the most common New Year's resolution?
question two, what percentage of people keep their New Year's resolution to the nearest 10? What percentage of people keep their New Year's resolution to the nearest 10? Question three. In what decade of your life are you the most likely to stick to your New Year's resolution? In what decade in your life are you most likely to stick to your New Year's resolution? Question four, it's a multiple choice one. Which civilization were the first to make New Year's resolutions? The ancient Babylonians, the ancient Greeks, or the Romans? Which civilization were the first to make New Year resolutions? The ancient Babylonians, ancient Greeks, or the Romans? And question five. New Year's resolutions vary from country to country. According to a 2013 study, what was a priority for people in India? Was it health related resolutions, finding love or career goals? So New Year's resolutions vary from country to country. According to a 2013 study, what was a priority for people in India? Health related resolutions, finding love, or career goals. Right, let's have a look at the answers to our resolutions round. So question one was what is the most common New Year's resolution? It is to exercise more, closely followed by saving money. Question two was what percentage of people keep their New Year's resolution to the nearest 10? Well, the nearest 10 would be 10%. It's actually just under, it's 8%. Only 8% 8 of people keep their New Year's resolution. Certainly makes me feel better about the number I have broken. Question three was in what decade of your life are you most likely to stick to your New Year's resolutions? It's in your 20s. Question four, which civilization were the first to make New Year's resolutions? Ancient Babylonians, ancient Greeks, or the Romans? It is the ancient Babylonians around 4,000 years ago. They made a resolution each new year, which would help them keep favor with the gods. And question five, New Year's resolutions vary from country to country. According to a 2013 study, what was a priority for people in India? health related resolutions, finding love or career goals. It is career goals. Health related resolutions are more popular in America and Egypt and love is very high on the list in Australia and Japan. So now we are already halfway through this week's quiz as we come to our round new year around the world. There are many different ways that people mark the new year across the globe. I am going to give you five statements about celebrations in different countries. I would like you to tell me if they are true or false. Number one, in Japan, it is a tradition to wake your children by tickling them when midnight strikes. In Japan, it is a tradition to wake your children by tickling them when midnight strikes. Question two, in Ecuador, people burn scarecrows filled with paper at midnight to banish bad things that happened in the past year. In Ecuador, people burn scarecrows filled with paper at midnight to banish bad things that happened in the past year. Question three. A Spanish tradition is to try and eat a grape for all of the 12 chimes the bells make at midnight. 
Spanish tradition is to try and eat a grape for all the 12 times the bells chime at midnight. Question four. In Denmark, people mark the new year by going into the street and washing all their crockery to symbolise a new start. In Denmark, people mark the new year by going into the street and washing all their crockery to symbolise a new start. And question five. In Brazil, there is a belief that the colour of your underwear at New Year's determines what will happen to you in the new year. In Brazil, there is a belief that the colour of your underwear at New Year's determines what will happen in the new year. Okay, so that was our last New Year tradition. Let's have a look at which are true and which are false. So question one was in Japan, it is traditional to wake up your children by tickling them when midnight strikes. That one I'm afraid is false. Although in Japan, it is thought to be good luck if you are laughing when the new year starts. Question two. In Ecuador, people burn scarecrows filled with paper at midnight to banish bad things that happened in the past year. That one is true. They might also burn photographs that represent the past year. Question three. A Spanish tradition is to try and eat a grape for all of the 12 times the bell chimes midnight. That is true. It's thought it will bring you good luck for the coming year if you manage to eat 12 grapes in the time it takes for the bell to strike 12 times. Question four. In Denmark, people mark the new year by going into the street and washing all their crockery to symbolise a new start. That is false. However, they do have a tradition linked to crockery in that they will go and hurl their crockery at the doors of their friends and families at New Year's. And question five, in Brazil, there is a belief that the colour of your underwear at New Year's determines what will happen in the new year. That is true. That is for the different colours have different meanings. So if you want to get wealthy in the coming year, you should be wearing yellow underwear. If you have red underwear on, it means that you will find love in the new year. And if you would just like a peaceful new year, then you want to be wearing white underwear. <laughs> So we have one final round left. That is our on this day round. Lots of important events have happened on New Year's Day. I am going to tell you five events that happened on the 1st of January and I would like you to tell me what century they happened in. So I'll give you an event and I would like you to tell me what century it happened in. Question one. Samuel Pepys began writing his diary that he would keep for nine years. Samuel Pepys began writing his diary that he would keep for nine years. Question two. The Legislative Union of the Kingdom of Great Britain and the Kingdom of Ireland was completed. So the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland was proclaimed. The Legislative Union of the Kingdom of Great Britain and the Kingdom of Ireland was completed. And so the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland was proclaimed. Question three. The Times was first published under its original name of the Daily Universal Register. The Times was first published under its original name of the Daily Universal Register. Question four. The United States. United States banned the importation of slaves. 
the United States banned the importation of slaves. And question five. The first episode of the BBC's radio serial, The Archers, was aired. The first episode of the BBC's radio serial, The Archers, was aired. So let's have a look at the answers to the fourth round. Question one was Samuel Pepys began writing his diary that he would keep for nine years. Which century did that happen in? That was the 17th century. He started it in 1660. And so it famously covered important events, including the Great Plague and the Great Fire of London. Question two, the legislative union of the Kingdom of Great Britain and the Kingdom of Ireland was completed and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland was proclaimed. That was the 19th century. I was a little bit mean with that one because it happened in 1801. So it was very close to being in an earlier century. Question three, the Times was first published under its original name of the Daily Universal Register. That was in the 18th century. It was first published back in 1785. Question four, the United States bans the importation of slaves. That was the 19th century as well. So that was in 1808. And it should be said that this was um, not an abolition. It was the domestic slave trade was not affected by this. And the last one, question five, was the first episode of the BBC's radio serial, The Archers, was aired. I'm imagining quite a few of you will have got this was the 20th century. It is the world's longest running radio soap, first being aired in 1951. So that brings me to the end of this week's quiz. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Do join me again next week where we will have another quiz on our monthly theme of hope. But for now, Happy New Year, everybody, and Shabbat Shalom.